What can we do for you there, Chadwick? Chadwick Smokehouse. Straightforward. I'm going to get something that's kind of an outdoorsy feel with not so much of a beach feel. Next one like what I was looking for. Up and let's go. Really, really, really. All right, guess how's to work. Winter wouldn't still necessarily be back considering he's a penguin, but... It's actually probably fine, but just be different. Alright, see what we have here for furniture. Some ranch furniture, iron wood, other wooden stuff. Used to be predominantly ranch and iron wood stuff. Cactus, if you're having more of a desert frame. Not the direction we took it. Fresh food trays.
and just general wood if you want to chop that out there. Yellow, brown, black, white, red, I have a lot of food options that I came with, but okay, salmon, white fish, blueback fish, red fleshed fish block, white fish fish block, squid and fatty tuna, premium. Cheap deals expires tomorrow. We wanted barbecue. It appears that it was focusing more smokehouse with more of a fish smokehouse rather than barbecue smokehouse. Interesting. I did focus on my design then. That's fine. Do have fish door plates, but apparently not accessible at the moment. Fine. And put some outdoor furnishings. Quite centered on the landscape there, but not much I'm going to do about it.
Is there anything else in passing that I can think of that look nice out here? Need to be over there, but I'll throw them outside somewhere. <laughs> Good morning. I was curious if I had anything like fishing poles or that sort of thing, but I don't believe I did. I have an axe. I don't have any of the other tools to throw out here. That's right. See if I can get it to match closer to the fence here, but don't have a lot of color options with these. It's fun then. Interior. I do like the iron wood stuff, so do it from this perspective, it works a little bit easier. stuff that wasn't already included with him. Yep, he has a kitchenette spot. Card ahead out, the chair, cupboard, dresser, table, low table I have outside. I don't really need a bed, it's not where we're wasn't our design focus here. Ooh, clock. Sure why not? The rest of the design, I'm guessing you came with some sort of wallpaper and furnishing. Retro restaurant wall, it's an option. Steampunk wall, it's a little bit crazy. A little intricate wall, but what I'm going for, rice patty. That's that, all the options I had thus far. Pork, brown brick, not bad. Flowing river, if you're going with a completely different design aesthetic. Don't quite go with the rice patty wall though, but. I'm typically less fond of using outdoor designs inside. Feels weird. Now it's a matter of deciding what we want color wise for all this stuff. Different. All right. 
right then. Wasn't given any options for Windows, so. I'm just not sure I needed that extra space too much. See what else you got on you. Or they need any more extra tables and such. Additions would be more beneficial if you made this area wider so if I had a significant separation between the kitchen space and the dining space, like you would a restaurant or something. That would be a little bit more necessary, but the direction I was going. Interesting color. Quite the direction I was going for. See for any of them don't quite work in this space. Brick oven's fine, but I had one of those outside. Honestly not affect kitchen utility, nothing for what little you can pop on top of the hot plate there. Thank you. 
and can design that a little different color wise. <gasps> Do you have with you? Oops, sorry. You made buttons? Completely different look in the room that way. Like it. Right, just definitely better the lighting. If I have any prepared fish dishes, I go with no or let's say would have yeah, added them to the list there, but that makes the table there boring. Music of some kind. I think there's too much else I really need to throw in here, to be honest. Yeah, 
I'm still disappointed they don't really have much to throw on a table there, but... Flowers? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Some sort of vague centerpiece. We don't have a lot of options for that, but a couple. Looks pretty good. <gasps> Nico showed up. New surprise. Supervise the design consultant. <laughs> You. He told me to tell you. Sweet, now we can actually add effects to the sparkles. So, come in here. All right, I change the effect applied to them. Pressing the last button. Instead of just the default Sparkle Blast, I can now add Steam Shine, Burr, Thrip Hat, Dizzy Spin, Zapmatic, Stress Buzz, Space Blip, Drip Drop, Bubble Shock, Flutter Flap, Fuzzy Bobs, Bloom Swirl, and Chatter Blurb. With the Steam Shine. It's all steamy. Yeah, there you go. I can make it super steamy. Oh, that's too much smoke. Why? And you want to do other things like make this fish look like it's seen better days. Frost effect to the there. Now it's frosting cool. That is a good idea. Because you needed the fish about to cook here. Chat conversations with you. I want to do. Dress you in something more snazzy than what you're wearing. Not sure what you really came with, but.
Another wave. There you go. <laughs> Take me to the river. Center of the room. Now we're good to go. Yes, I do. Do we have to change out that photo? Wait. Another fine vacation home. Have a good one, Chadwick. <laughs> 